the impressive story of Han Soo Hee. When we see Korean actors in their fancy cars and expensive clothes and dramas, we usually figure that their lives must be pretty similar in real life. But that's not always the case, especially for Han Soo Hee. From traumatic experiences to someone using her name to commit a crime, her life has been difficult from day one. Are you ready to hear her inspiring story? So he was born as Issa Hee, with her original family name on November 18, 1994 in Ulsan. After the divorce, her parents had to go to work, so she moved in with her grandmother, and her grandmother became the one to raise her. Witnessing her parents' marriage breaking down must have affected So Hee's trust mindset on marriage irreversibly. Therefore, even after many years of the divorce, and she was asked about her thoughts on the world of the married, she said, To be honest, I don't think I'll get married. Trying to understand how Heo and Da Kyung feel when they do unethical things is uncomfortable. I used to believe that all marriage needed was love. Da Kyung and I had one thing in common, yet we both changed after watching this drama. Marriage and family cannot be maintained just by love. As a result, I assumed that getting married would be impossible or extremely difficult. The actress attended Ulsan Girls High School of Arts, which is the same school actress Kim Tae-hee attended. Seeing her grandmother take care of her despite her old age, so he made a pledge to herself that she would earn a lot of money and take care of her grandmother to pursue her goal. So he moved to Seoul with only 300,000 Korean won and without any connections there at just the age of 20. When she gained nationwide recognition with the drama, The World of the Married, details about her pre-debut life in Seoul emerged. In an Instagram post she posted in 2018, she said, I'm already 25 years old, even though I'm young. When I think of the 20-year-old me who went up to Seoul with only 300,000 won, it feels as if 10 years have passed. Every day when I open my eyes, I go to work at a pub in Gangnam and work until the sun rises the next day. I think because I endured that year, I became the person I am today. According to an interview in 2020, she actually had no interest in acting at the beginning, but her path led her to become an actress. So he thought that she would make a living through art with her drawing ability, which we witness from time to time via her Instagram posts. However, when she came to Seoul, she realized that there were hundreds of people who were good at drawing, and among them, one had to be outstandingly good to succeed. The actress said that she had forgotten why she came to Seoul. While fiercely working in different part-time jobs to earn her living expenses for two or three years, because she became distant from art, her passion disappeared, and her journey starting from modeling and reaching acting began. When Sohee made her acting debut, she shared in another interview that her grandmother wanted to see her appear on TV. So she decided to switch her career. Now her grandmother really, really loves watching her on screen. Before venturing into acting, Sohee had to do almost every part-time job. Regarding this, she said, when I was 20, I thought that anything would be possible, but the reality was tragic. While working as a model, I work part-time in clothing stores, meat restaurants, pubs, toy stores, and jewelry stores. Having stunning looks, so he became known as Insta Goddess, and drew attention in a short time while working, which gave her the opportunity to start modeling first. Her extensive portfolio for modeling includes contact lenses, cosmetics, mobile games, and even Ritz crackers. Later on, she decided to audition to appear in a music video and was cast for Shiny's Tell Me What To Do music video in 2016. Coming to 2017, she starred in two dramas. Just one year after her first appearance in the entertainment industry, she was now able to take on roles in dramas. She made her acting debut with a minor role in Reunited Worlds. Also, so he got her first main role with Money Flower that year. During these past few years, she continued to feature in music videos as well. She appeared in Jung Young Hwa's That Girl in 2017, Roy Kim's The Hardest Part in 2018, and having similar visuals to Itzy's Ryu Jin. Also, some netizens called her the younger version of Song Hye Kyo. The actress started using Han as her family name after her debut. The reason behind this is unknown. However, it can be seen that she still uses Lee So Hee occasionally on her social media accounts. Plus, when she was asked which name she is more used to in an interview, she replied, I'm used to Han So Hee these days, but when I go back to my hometown or meet my old friends, if they call me Han So Hee, I'd be a little sad. In 2018, So Hee finally landed a bigger role in 100 Days My Prince, which she starred alongside Nam Jae Hyun, Dio, and Kim Sun Ho. The drama was such a hit that it became one of the highest rated Korean dramas in cable television history. Thanks to the popularity of the drama, So Hee entered the buzzworthy actors list for the first time. This drama was followed by Abyss, in which the actress took on another supporting role. When coming to 2020, it was the drama The World of the Married that was Sohee's breakthrough role. She played a young mistress named Yeo Do Kyung, who was the only daughter of her family and 
and raised affluently. The smash hit drama became the highest rated drama in Korean cable television history, with a nationwide rating of 28%. The actress shared that she was also criticized because the character she portrayed was a mistress, but actually it can be interpreted as Sohee's act was really convincing, right? On the brighter side, Sohee earned much more critical acclaim for her brilliant performance from both her senior peers and viewers. Numerous endorsements, including international brands like Lanvin and L'Oreal Paris. Her fellow cast member, the veteran actress Kim Hye, praised her skills and said that she is already fully developed as an actress. And she added, If she's already this perfect, I wonder what kind of actress she'll be in the future. She works so hard. And in terms of her face and body, I think she's flawless. She leaves nothing to be desired. Meanwhile, so he mentioned that her role model was Kim Hye. And after watching her acting in the drama from up close, I found myself thinking, I would like to be that actress. She stated, After rising to fame following the drama, Netizen began to search for Zoe's personal life. Naturally, her past photos showing her tattoos and smoking were revealed. In the photos, both her arms were almost entirely covered by tattoos, while some netizens criticized her for this by saying, didn't you originally intend to be an actress? Why did you get tattoos so hard? Some others defended that it was a personal choice and that it looked good anyways. Despite causing controversy, Sohee accepted her previous image and her past self bravely and also in a mature way. Regarding the criticism, the image of me back then was me and I'm still me. My worldview isn't that different now compared to myself then. Now that I think about it, those moments completed who I am today. I think some of my fans who are women even love those sides of me. I'm very grateful, she expressed herself. When mentioning her tattoos, Zoe explained that the lily flower shaped one represented her grandmother, and she chose that with intention of her ever being at her grandmother's side. Luckily, her past didn't cause a big backlash for her, but the actress had to remove her tattoos for her acting career eventually. 2020 was going to continue to be hectic for her, this time an incident in which her mother borrowed money from people by using her name showed up. Victims posted on an online forum about how they had been scammed by the mother of a celebrity and revealed that the celebrity was Han So Hee. Regarding this, So Hee made a statement via her personal social media account. Actress said that after her parents' divorce, she hadn't met with her mother and learned about her debt when she became 20. Because my mother was the daughter of the woman who raised me, and because of the moral duties of parent-child relationships, I repaid my mother's debts as much as I could before I made my debut. And after I debuted. However, this caused her to continue doing the same thing and more victims. So I apologize. After she got through the 2020s controversies, so he was able to focus on her career. It's safe to say that 2021 became her year with two leading roles in the dramas, Nevertheless and My Name. She starred as Yuna Bi, who is an art student in Nevertheless, alongside Song Kang. Her past relating to art paid off, and she was the only cast member who did not need to take an additional art class for the show. Plus, when you watch the drama, you can spot some of her art pieces were proudly displayed in Nabi's room. So he showed her acting versatility and her passion for her career through her other 2021 drama, My Name. In the drama, which included tons of action scenes, she portrayed a revenge-driven woman who trusts in a powerful crime boss and enters the police force under his direction to uncover the truth behind her father's passing away and take revenge on the guilty. As the director said, when she asked whether she would like to take on this role because the chance for this kind of role would not come, Zoe replied without hesitation. She gave everything for her role, attended action school for a month to learn martial arts, and gained about 10 kg of muscle to build a more athletic body. And we can say that she definitely nailed it. This year, Zoe took part in soundtrack number one, which depicts the first love story between a man and woman who have been friends for 20 years, alongside Park Young Shik. Lastly, she joined star studded cast, including Park Seo Joon, Soo Hyun, Kim Hee Suk, Jo Han Chul, and Wee Ha Joon for the thriller period drama, Gyeong Song Creature. By looking at her growing portfolio and outstanding skills, it's for sure her future is very bright. What do you think about her journey? Which is your favorite drama of hers? You can let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, MDLers. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.